Okay. She want that lifestyle. She want that lifestyle. Who's that ball bought with stolen money? Stunt money? Show money? Like for real, I'm about to get. I'm about to get citizenship, honey. Aw, give me some sugar. Aw. <laughs> he said, "I love you, mom." He's so cute. Meanwhile, I wonder what. I love you, mom. I wonder what he wants. What did he say? No, oh, I love you too, kid. What's up, everybody? We down here. Love wins. Remember. 18 months ago, Portia just got married. She got a divorce. They, they announced it on People Magazine. Hold on, let's go to People and see what, the, what they're talking about. Hold on. Portia Williams files for divorce. So we down here, you know what we're talking about? We got another video premiering later or, or before this, but this came out this morning. It was on the damn um, Instagram, not Instagram, on Twitter talking about, wake up, Erica, Rodney, Bondi, they tagged a whole bunch of people talking about, wake up, wake up. So I, you know, of course, when I log in, I see it. I was like, what's going on? Are you going to, are you going to post a link or something and let me know what the hef, F is going on? You out here clanking pots. You don't even tell, tell me what's going on. You didn't woke me up, but now you don't want to tell me. I got to go find, I got to go find out what, what what's going on. <laughs> You're not going to tell me after you wake me up. So was, then they posted a, a, a link to the People article that Portia Williams files for divorce from Simon Guabadia, if that is even his name, after 15 months of marriage, right? Love wins. What is she saying? She's having three weddings and a funeral. Well, I guess this is the funeral in, eight, in 15 months. Wow, the average marriage lasts eight years. God damn, she didn't even make it to a, what is it, point? point where where does she make it to portia williams and simon guabadi's marriage is coming to an end is the marriage even valid is it a valid marriage under the law because if he got married a fake name who did you marry girl the, i hope she had an iud in the entire time i hope she wasn't screwing that she, like, she had to be screwing them raw she was wrapping her lips around that just for 15 months of of a lifestyle <laughs> You was wrapping your thing around that worm for 15 months of lifestyle, girl. <laughs> Did you hear Shamia talking about it's he's taken. It's, it's giving keep away, girl. Don't nobody want to be over there. But you surviving assholes. You hoes running around like you on in survival mode. Trying to find somebody to take care of you like you some goddamn child. <laughs> girl. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum filed for divorce from Simon Guabadi on Thursday in Atlanta, according to court documents obtained by People. News of their split comes as rumors fly online about Guabadi's citizen status. However, a source tells People the divorce is unrelated to recent allegations involving Simon's past. The cause of their split is an ongoing matter, adds the insider. Williams, 42, and Guabadi, 59, said, I do in November 2022. In a Nigerian traditional native law and custom um, ceremony, followed by an American ceremony in Atlanta, the pair announced their engagement in May and twenty of May in twenty twenty one. After one month of dating, after she what class left that lady's house, ran out of that lady's house with her husband and her Hennessy. Shout out to Rodney the voice, <laughs> baby. 
And it's like how you got them. And then what's the, I, I got on y'all. I have a video. I already found it. Because I didn't forget. I'm about to read some of my tweets. Let me read some of my tweets that I've said this morning. Hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, hold on. Girl, we ain't forget. We didn't never forget here. <laughs> never forget. We never forget, bitch. Fucking tramp. All them damn tea. She got a mouthful of tea. You know, every time Portia lies, she grow another tooth. That's what I heard. <laughs> got a mouthful of teeth over there looking like a mask. Stunts and shows. She does operate like a bitch in survival mode. You running around Atlanta trying to figure it out. You 40 how much? 42. Ain't no excuse. The d That's that. That's it's over with. That shit is over with. It's, it's over with. And if Portia doesn't come to Real Housewives of Atlanta in full transparency and be like, "Girl, I just married that nigga so I can have a little lifestyle for a little while, show my daughter the world that I couldn't afford." I don't know if she couldn't afford it or not, but maybe she just wanted to do it on somebody else's dime. But then you quit your jobs. Well, maybe she quit her job. She he was like, "We got about we got about a good year and a half." So live it up, baby girl, because I'm not going to be able to come back to the United States. They, everything has caught up to me. The scams, the lies, the delusions, the fantasies, it's all catching up. Uh, is she going to get down there to talk about who the fuck did I marry? Part 52 of who the fuck did I marry? <laughs> so Portia going to be down there. You knew exactly who you married, bitch. You, this is not, I bet you they getting a divorce on a, um, fraudulent she's gonna say it's fraudulent it, the divorce is probably not even um not divorce the marriage has anybody seen a marriage license those are public records has anybody asked to pull a marriage license for Portia? because you know that bitch will pull a stunt in a show too that's what i'm saying i posted that um you just saw right here shamia and Portia running around the mall giving stunt money stage money show money Getting diamonds talking about it's giving taken. It's giving keep away. Girl, don't nobody want Simon. Don't nobody want Simon, but a hoe in survival mode. That's how you acting. Love wins. Remember how everybody was in the comments? Hashtag love wins. Oh my God, she looks like a princess. Portia would have done better walking down the aisle to herself, but no, she is. When I tell you not only the queen of Scotlandia, but the Duchess of Pikmisha's honey girl. She's a mess. And that goofy, ooh, 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 ooh. all that shit, girl, go away from me with this. We're going to see how Portia's going to show up. Let's see if she shows up authentic and, and transparent and forthcoming. Let's see if that happens. Let's see if that happens. I'm going to read some of my tweets this is a married couple situation you don't understand that because you've never had that and you and you do with your arranged marriage you will never know the convictions of a wife because you've never been married so happy one day you'll be blessed with a husband girl that's a blessing oh Ooh, from I tell I, from is that the blessing you get for praying to a man <laughs> Here you go. I got one for you. I got a few. Keep looking, girl. It's a married couple situation. Keep you don't have the tundra. Because you haven't had that you yet. Do? Yes, I do, baby girl. Yes, okay. I do. do. That's why I'm speaking to arrange marriage. That's why I'm speaking to arrange marriage. That was not an arrangement. Okay, oh, you're basically admitting that you were Cornell's beard. Okay, you're saying that you were Cornell's beard. Oh, yes, I, I have to say this. I have to say this. You are low down and you are dirty. dirty. And you don't get it. You've never been married. Yes. Why you and you neither have you then from you what you said. Married. Then I will respect your opinion. Neither have you, you, you have. Until you get married, then I'll respect your opinion. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Until you are, have a husband, I'm not going to respect your opinion on marriage. Ain't that some crazy shit? <laughs> Girl. You see where they put the value? Until you have, you will never right. get the situation of a white girl. Ever. Right. Ever. Yes. You don't have them now. Yes. They put 
get your ass out. Next time, don't get married for a check. <laughs> One day you will be blessed and you will have a husband. <laughs> Portia is a clown, girl. Y'all, I was thinking, I was like, am I going to review Real Housewives of Atlanta? But if not to just come down here and drag Portia for 30 minutes, girl, I'm down here. I This is not a Portia Stan account. Girl, every time we mention her, mention her, baby, I'm revving up the engine. <laughs> I'm revving it up, bitch. I'm ready to run over her. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't forget y'all was down there talking about love wins. Love wins, diva. Did you have this in the drafts? No, right. I. It, it seems like I did. No, I did not. You will never understand. You have never been married, girl. Shut up. Queen of Thoughtlandia is back. Remember when y'all were under Portia's wedding pictures talking that shit? Hashtag love wins. I didn't forget, bitch. I ain't forgot. And why did I go on Twitter right now and put in love wins and Portia and a bunch of all the evidence? It's just, it's just coming down. Love wins. And Portia said the red flags weren't those red. What did she say? What did she say? Shout out to LTV Productions. He said, remember when she said red flags weren't red flags to her? Of course. Came here for this. She was a damn red flag herself. I know that's right. Let me hear what y'all saying. I guess it didn't win at all. I mean, we knew it wasn't love, though. Exactly. Talking cash shit. Fucking bitch. Love wins. Girl, we down here. We see the grift. We see the scam, bitch. We see it. Fucking let me see what other people have said. Three quotes. Let's see what the people said. She got me agreeing with the tramp Kenya. You can't make it up. <laughs> I hope he was smart enough to know what it was and planned according. Girl, he don't have no money to plan for. What you talking about? That's why she's out. Ain't no more money. You see what you see the way Mia did? Oh, Floggy Dick. <laughs> Floggy Dick. What's his name? G? Gramps. Floggy Dick Gramps. She bounced as soon as the money dried up. Portia knew Simon was a scammer. She knew she he she knew he was a scammer and she was going to live on the lifestyle for as long as she could in the lifestyle. But see, to me, I don't understand why you would attach yourself to him. And that's why I feel like the marriage wasn't authentic. Because why would you like you have to be a dumb bitch on a Wednesday to go and marry a scammer? I guess you could just have the marriage annulled after. I mean, what do you need to file for divorce? How long can how long after a marriage can you get an annulment? You only been married 15 months. It has to be it has to be a year. How long do you have to be married to get an annulment in Georgia? Found this on the web. Annulment in Georgia. Let's see. Cuz I'm like, girl, you've only been married for 15 months. Um, do, 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 do. it says this is a Stearns, Montgomery, and Proctor website, a law firm. While they're not, while they are not common in Georgia, annulments can be granted under specific circumstances. An annulment is used to end a marriage that, in the state's eyes, is invalid compared to a divorce that ends what is considered to be a legally or quote real marriage. Okay. Um, as it involves the courts taking a drastic stance and issuing a legal decree stating that the marriage was void from its inception, annulments are generally granted only in unusual cases. So I guess if it's just a fake marriage, you just get it annulled. Because I feel like, you know, like remember when they had Aaliyah's uh, wet, uh, marriage to R. Kelly annulled because she was a minor? Motherfuckers let him marry Mary Minor and somebody else helped him with the paperwork because you know you can you know you can't read so somebody else helped him forge a document so he can marry a teenager but y'all don't know no ancient niggas <laughs> y'all don't know no ancient niggas so let's read the comments let's go to the comments on the blogs this is this is hot on the trail this is hot on the trail when I tell you T.S. Madison dragged the girls yesterday, let's listen to this drag real quick. Oh my God. Hopefully she posted it. But when I tell you she dragged, when I tell you she 
dragged hold on and then we're going to go back to Porsche I just want to hear this real quick I hope she played it is this it however when those opportunities were given to me I walked oh mandate yes the white man did give me opportunities however when those opportunities were given to me I walked in the room with with commanding I told them what I will and will not do and I also did the same thing for the African-American families and the African-American trannies and the African-American dykes. I do the same thing. And that's why, bitch, I am able to do exactly what I want to do when I want to motherfucking do it. And that's why all of those wonder twin powers that love to come together as black women who don't like me can't motherfucking activate and kick me out of no motherfucking well because I run my own business. And bitch, because I run my own business, bitch, and I got business about me, and I control my intellectual motherfucking property, bitch, that's why I ain't going nowhere. It's not because somebody gave me a motherfucking space. It's because I command the room. Instead of you girls getting into your spaces and thinking that you get into a, 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 a position where you can read me, what you need to do is to get a, a pen and a pad and take notes. And we thank you, and we do this in love. Bitch, shout out to T.S. Madison. <laughs> And we do this in love. Snatch him. Yeah! <laughs> With love. After I snatch your edges out, I'm going to help you put some little edge, little, help you sli slick down what you have left. With love. <laughs> After I snatch them out. That was, that was so good. I tell you, I love a bitch who could just read. Oh my God, I love it. And just go and just go. Shout out to T.S. Madison. Madison. You know, she's a Libra. A Libra girl snatched them and craig in the back just eating just eating just eating just eating his food crazy as hell let me see if my okay so let's go to the blogs and see honey what is going on with the princess of thoughtlandia is i sponsored the now yes. i sponsored the let blog. me tell you something the princess of thoughtlandia 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 my rider die and yes he thought he was gonna die today be his peace girl <laughs> well damn you were telling us to be his peace less than a week ago it's all an act it's all an act it's all a stunt it's all a show it's all an act a stunt and a show that's all this shit is when y'all be entering into these like arrangements it's all an act it's all a show it's all but it what's the the most unfortunate thing is when you're less than smart like Portia. And then when you have like a pick me kind of mentality where you have like, there's a, you see value in, in that kind of arrangement. It doesn't matter, right? She wants to live like a fan. She wants to live in a fantasy. Oh, little nasty world tonight. Don't you want to come with me? Do you think I'm a nasty girl? Hey, please, please. Hey, nasty girls, nasty girls. Do you think I'm a nasty girl? Hey, please, please. Yes. Let's see what the comments say. First, the announcement. So let's see. First of the comments, let's see. Oliver Twit says, throw all of February away. Girl, Randy Rosario, she's on the, she be on the relationship podcast. She talking about, whoa, I hope this isn't real. Girl. That's what I'm saying. And then you have your girlfriends that will play along with the fantasy with you. Like, oh my God, girl, really? Oh my God. Like, I just, girl, stop. <laughs> Y'all call the shit for what it is. Mm, look at this microphone, girl. Look at this microphone. The, the thing is over here. Girl, I can't. I just, I, I'd be thinking I have it down, but then I don't. <laughs> I think I have it down, but then I don't. Whoa, I hope this isn't real. Come on, girl. Stop playing. Girl, <laughs> y'all just be saying anything. <laughs> this one said, we about to get your who the fuck did I marry from Porsche, right? I'm sure it's for law not to access assets with all his legal drama. This is a power move. They still together. The February portion of the calendar is filled to the brim. It's giving protecting her assets from his legal and criminal matters. What assets? She quit all her jobs. What assets are y'all talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Storyline. Yes, every, your life is the story. No matter how boring or how fantastical, how deluded, 
how real it is. It's all a story, my dear. Everybody's life is a motherfucking storyline, okay? It's a storyline, yes. Whatever's happening in her life is the storyline. Now, if you making up stuff to have some type of fantastical world of storylines where you just making up shit as you go, then get, get out of here. But if your life is not exciting and, you know, you got to, you know, things are just popping off all the time. You busy, you running around, you in your car, you on the phone, you making business moves and all this other stuff. You're doing all the things. Those are the people you want to see when they just live in regular life. You're like, oh my God, that's just, they're doing this for a storyline. Getting a divorce, girl. She coming back because the money is gone. She coming back. I would have had a trick for Portia. Baby, I would have had a trick. I would have had a trick. But the story is so fucking stupid that you have to document this. We have to document this portion of Portia's life. Maybe she can have an amendment to her book, her little coloring book that y'all went out and bought. <laughs> Storyline. She didn't know he was denied citizenship five times. She didn't know he was fraud. She files for divorce to leave and still have dignity. She's hurt and confused and wants her family back. How do you know what girl? And just one girl, did did you just you girl, let me just let me just stop. I, I just never mind. No, I'm not gonna say anything. That's her storyline. Either he didn't want her back on Housewives or this is a storyline. Y'all are so damn gullible. It's beyond laughable. She just did a recording of how she was coming back to RHOA as, as Portia Gobadi. And now she's filing for divorce. His news leaked about his citizenship a couple days ago. It's called a storyline. My goodness. Dunn took that girl husband just to give him back his, his nasty work. Bring him back. The ratings will be through the roof. Damn, a scheme that Todd set up. Richie Dollar saying it's my turn now, kid. Ugh. If you get with Rich Dollars, when I tell you, I will call you a slut from the 90s. I will. Girl, Rich Dollars? The creep squad? Part of the creep squad? We ain't forgot. Girl, the internet's memory is long as hell. Do you understand me? We ain't forgot documented. Somebody can find it somehow, some way. Put it somewhere online. Somebody will find it. They may have to go to the 10th page in Google in a Google search, but bitch, put it online. It's gonna be it's there. Boom. It's right there. Put it somewhere online on a public social media site. Because all I had to do was enter Love Wins and Portia, and all the damn tweets came up. I'm going to read them. Uh, Portia. Drew don't know it, but once she dropped that gaslighting dead weight, Portia going to get her one of them African kings to sweep her off her feet, and Bravo will be there to capture it. Love wins. I said, is the girl code commissioner Portia Williams being passed around? Girl, it's a video. I'll post it. I'll put a, a, a thing to it. I don't know what I was saying, child. I know I was dragging. Hold on. Let's see real quick what I was saying. This is a video from, hold on. Let me open it, girl. I don't know what's going away. It's a video. Hold on. Let me pause. What's up, everybody? Uh-uh. uh. Oh, this is two years ago. This is two years ago, May 11th, 2021. Let me read the most recent comment. I got it. Let me meet, read the most recent comment on here. She's not passed around. She's been in his life beforehand. I was three months and didn't know it until I gave birth at four months along. She's a pass around. If she's getting more than a baby out of the situation, then I can give her more props. Portia is a pass around. They didn't get rich by making dumb decisions. Kenya need to beat Portia's punk ass for failing. Sounds like Simon got a pocket full of money and a bottle full of Viagra. Portia is making a big mistake and will never live it down. Very raggedy. This is some young and the restless mess. I swear someone must have threatened to leak this information and they tried to get in front of it. I'm not buying this timeline, a fairy tale storyline or this bond with Dennis. I like Portia, but this whole thing is a gutter move. Then bringing a child is it BS. Remember they thought she was pregnant because she had on that moo moo when they were, um, her and Dennis and Simon took that picture together. 
these Porsche stands act like straight up 45 supporters. Fallon is pregnant in Porsche for Simon. I don't know. The woman that was jealous her sister got pregnant before her. The woman who tossed her BFF to the curb over a friendship with Candy. The one that said she was being set up to be drugged because her puppet master said so. The one that was humping for for a buck in a bag. Girl, she's on the right. She's on the right railroad. <laughs> Shout out to my tease <laughs> again. F Kenya, damn, she has no bearing on this, so who cares? Girl, I, this is a Kenya stand account, not a Porsche stand account. We run over Porsche over here. All right, this is this is from two years. This is from two years old. Two two years ago, Simon is using Porsche for for fame, just like Dennis used her. Simon can see Porsche a mile away, and you will use her and leave her. Porsche is being love bombed. If Portia is being passed around because that would imply she doesn't know what she's doing and the men are in control. I think she knows what she's doing and doesn't care. The money, the money's the goal and then stand firm in your hold'em. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Stand firm in it. I feel bad for Fallon, but at the same time, Fallon just proposed and is now engaged in assuming the man. Is, they already broke up. Her and the pool boy, the cheek, the chic, the chick is being passed around. Simon probably called Dennis and gave him a heads up separately, and they laughed about it. Right? Y'all be coming up with some crazy stories. I mean, uh, is he Dennis's friend too? I mean, since when did it become okay to sleep or marry your child's father's friend? Girl, it happens more than more than often. Let the nigga die. She she right up there with with his best friend. Hell, they'll probably even get married. Um, Porsche is too shallow. Too cheap and too desperate. Who does this? <laughs> Drew's lo logic only applies to people. I'm going to post this. Let's post this to the community tab. Girl, there's always a video. I remember that love win shit. Y'all be lying to yourselves. That's what that that's what they say. Y'all want to be lied to. That's why they tell y'all that. Y'all want to be lied to. Four years ago. Three years ago. When is 2021? Yeah, that was three years ago. I'm so here for this emotional moment after Portia by Simon an engagement ring. Watch Phaedra, watch Portia become Phaedra within a couple of months. Not love wins. Portia is insane. After announcing his divorce a few weeks ago with Fallon Guabadia, Simon proposes to Portia because love wins. Carrots. I'd like to seize this opportunity to thank every, every well wisher of Portia and I, whether via phone, text, or DM. You affirm my belief that finding love is possible for everyone who genuinely seeks one. Getting married again was never a question in my mind, but when did I not expect to be blessed with a mate so soon? The interesting thing about life is that it's an individual journey. Portia and I, with the support of our loved ones, have chosen to travel together as one and spread love and positivity to our community, which is in desperate need of positive and healthy images of the best version of ourselves. We travel this road not lightly, considered we have been, we have been in relationship that have thought us to want or do better for ourselves. I asked her to marry me because we checked all of each other's boxes. And then some. And then some. <laughs> we have done the individual work to sustain a healthy relationship and i stand next to her proud that we have found each other what we have is what we wish every single one of you out there happiness so when i asked she said yes that is all that matter thank you again for your love and support love wins here's portia our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living each day to the fullest. I chose happiness every morning and every night, turning, tuning out, <laughs> tuning out negative energy and only focus on positive wishes. 
He makes me so happy. And to me, that is what matters most. For all of you that need facts, I get the optics. But Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing. That's between the two of them. Fallon and I are not friends, and Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is positive, a loving step forward in everyone's lives. <laughs> Simon and Dennis are committed to being respectful and supportive of my happiness and situation. You had your girl, your daughter around that fucking scammer just so that you can live some life. I hope you left her. I hope you left her with Dirty Diana. But we know Dirty Diana was making sure you was going to get to the bag by hook or crook and her ass was in tow. Right. She's like, girl, bring me along while I sit up in somebody's motherfucking bed and eat pizza. Remember when Cordell, Cordell was so pissed. <laughs> Bitch, she was so mad. He was telling Peter she was in my bed eating pizza. Yeah. Diane, Diana is just like Mama D. Get to the money. Don't matter. Find somebody to take care of you. Be a be a fully grown, able-bodied human being with a fully mature brain. We're talking about Portia now, so allegedly. <laughs> get to the money, no matter what it takes. By hook, if you're gonna hook or you're gonna get with a crook. By hook or crook. <laughs> You gonna be hooking or you gonna be crooked? <laughs> That's all I have to say about Portia. We didn't drag her enough. Thirty minutes is enough. I gotta go. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think. She gonna be back on the show. The money done ran out. She wants her jobs back. Maybe she'll go back to Dish Nation. She tried to get over there to um the Breakfast Club. Portia is still my girl. Love wins. I'm screaming. Portia and that man talking about love wins. Girl, what? I'm I'm I'm. Girl, let me. I'm about to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm retweeting these things from two years ago. Portia News got me so excited. The American Wife. Girl, shut up. Portia can kiss my ass, bringing love wins into the mess. Here's Tisa Tales. Drew pulled out the best ponytail for her Portia cosplay closet to celebrate her Delilah spirit that, that's possessed Portia. Apparently, love wins when there's money involved. Girl, how do I feel about Portia appropriating love wins for her rushed engagement to a newly divorced friend of the family? <laughs> love wins. Not Portia using love wins. Right. I, <laughs> girl's a mess. I woke up to see Portia's name all over the timeline after seeing why I love wins. Girl, <laughs> everybody using a hashtag. Bravo told Portia if she wants to be the head girl, she's going to have to put in the work and why they keep hashtagging love wins. What makes the situation even more problematic is Portia and Simon are using love wins tag for their fuckery. Someone told Portia love wins was for the kids and somebody commented and said. The what? The Elementops? I don't know. The L oh, the Elemental P's always mad, I guess. Oh, the Elemental P's. Um, I feel a way about Portia appropriating love wins hashtag for her adulterous ass relationship. <laughs> Not Portia tweeting love wins and then deleting it. Not Portia appropriating love wins to justify her messy new relationship. It was on her. This is, these are, I'm reading tweets from 2021. Portia said love wins, girl. Nobody going to talk about how Portia Williams captioned her post about getting engaged to someone else's husband with love wins, which is a hashtag created by the LGBTQIA community. Girl, go to hell. Because I know Vivica isn't Portia. She most definitely jabbing. I don't know what this love wins. Portia done got a spinoff checkmate. Girl, that was not a spinoff. Those are called specials. A spinoff means it's a series that was created to have multiple episodes and multiple series it's, it's a it's it's a special it's getting special i can't see portia's tweets you know she got me blocked she got your girl blocked newsflash i want to see i'm gonna see read some of your comments on um let me see how much yeah i got six more minutes to go and then we out of here let me read some of your comments <sighs> let's see y'all didn't let me see oh Simon dressed like a toy soldier in the second slide is gagging me. She found out she has more money than him. Kenya had me cracking up when she said that. Portia just want to play dress up and take pretty pictures. That's it. That's all y'all want to do. That's what I'm saying. And y'all putting yourself in this weird ass situations when all you really want, you really want 
a party and a play dress up and a photo shoot. That's what you want. And some cake. Girl, her Stan swears she's a genius. This is her second short-lived failed marriage. She won't get anything in the divorce again. She learned nothing from her first marriage. Simon didn't even put her name on the house he's currently allowing her to live in. Fallon didn't get much, but her name was on their real house and she got half. Portia's on her way back to moving in that old house and kicking Mama Diane out the master bedroom because you know she, she in the bed eating pizza. <laughs> She ain't interested in long distance, clearly. Okay, so I've been doing this marriage thing for the shortest time, and I've concluded that people are aligned when they say you have to be married to understand marriage. I'm just over a year in, and I have a woman married for 35 years asking me for marital advice. People are full of shit. Anyone who gives good practical advice can give advice on anything, including marriage. I focused on that aspect because never once thought Portia and Simon would last. This is no shock. He didn't have the money she thought he had to make up for his looks, right? He even got his little teeth done. Libra DC says she probably leaked the immigration issue after she signed up for RHOA. So I believe she knew about Simon's immigration status before she signed the contract. Who will drag her? Let's hope Kenya doesn't drag her. It all makes sense now. She's back for a check and to advertise for the next buyer. Portia is a hot mess. The way I saw this coming, goodness, wow, nothing good can be built off of screwing over someone else. I believe that with my soul. You will never know the convictions of a wife. Child, I'm okay not knowing that bull, right? That picture of Quad, <laughs> yes, it is. Color me shocked. P Valley never wanted that man. I gave them 18 months. She was never over Dennis. Another nigga who had the declaration of bitches scroll down his back. A bunch of bitches names. And, and she on, on the internet talking about, I'm, I'm, I lick them. I be licking them. You licking other bitches names off of a, on a nigga's back. And you thought you was about to, he was about to marry you, girl. Does he have his name tattooed? And, and then you did all of that. Does Dennis have your name tattooed on him? Since he got a, a, a bunch of other bitches fucking a cheerleading squad on his goddamn back. A dance team on his back. Is your name there anywhere there, Portia? Girl, how much y'all want to bet Phaedra will pop up on RHOA now that this is this news has broken? They setting Portia up for the redemption arc storyline. Watch her be down in the confessional crying about marriage she thought she thought she had. This ish literally writes itself. We've seen it how many times now on these housewife shows? Not quad in the end, right? I feel I feel should have a great on Real Housewives of Lagos or young, famous, and African. Who's surprised? At least she looked pretty in her wedding dress. That's all she wanted to do. For Child, the way I ran to your page looking for a video, I'm waiting. Storyline, Portia can't save RHOA. She'll need some extra spicy for a comeback. There's no way you divorce your African king in three to five business days. She thought about it. This is not her first African, the African she dated. Did she date his cousin? He's the one that bought her the Porsche. I don't blame her. This marriage no longer serves her. Did it serve her in the beginning? She just wanted a lifestyle, so maybe it did. Horsha is back. I think it's a stunt in the show for ratings. I wasn't here for the other Kenya and, and Portia rivalry, but Kenya is the only one who holds Peach Juice accountable, while everyone else, I said maybe she can go be a thruple with the Burrises down there. She's single now, Candy. You can get between that, you can get in that box. You've been wanting to get in that box for a while. I bet you've been in that box already looking around. I bet you've been in that box because Todd likes Portia. He does. He does. Mm hmm. Was Candy doing the directing or were you, Todd? Mm hmm. Portia, why don't you go get up? She got money, honey. She over there. You know, Todd's. Shout out to Rodney the Voice. He said Todd was a kept woman the other day. I almost crashed my car. Well, I tell you, he be riling you y'all up. I know I rile you up about Ty Burris. Don't call him that. He had money before. He had money. He ain't no Eugene. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Shit. Ty Marvin. You, you go by Marvin. Melvin. What was it? Melvin. Marvin. Martell. Mighty Mouse. Marsupio. What? Marceau. What? What's the names? Mauricio. <laughs> they down there, honey. What's his name when he goes to New York? Maybe she can go be a thruple with them. She's just ridiculous. I love Kenya, but she is no position to comfort anyone. Nobody is. And that's the gag. 
black women and women, so many women, so many women put so much value in marriage and then their whole fucking relationships be a disaster. Your relationship is a disaster. Kenya can't say anything. She can't. Neither one of them could because ironically, they were both in the same position, ironically, with these babies bumping heads and stuff. And then all of a sudden, here come Nene. And you talk about, I don't know what I would have done without you. Uh, girl, shut up, Portia. Portia mouth full of teeth, lying ass heifer. You down there, girl. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here and review Real Housewives of Atlanta. If not for nothing, then to rev our engines, baby, and run over that hoe. Anyways, take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Y'all let me know. I mean, we all called it. It was, we called it. Was nothing lasting no more than two years? Nothing was, none of this was lasting. I need to go find a tweet and see if I made a prediction on how, it, how long it would last. Some folks said 18 months is made it to 15. That's what I'm saying. Girl, can't you just go get it and all to be like, this is not, this is not good. Y'all should, I think marriage licenses should be renewed after one year. You got one year renewal, a two year renewal, and then a five year renewal. And then after five years, it, in increments of five years, every five years, you need to go down and renew your marriage license, right? So up until five years, my, this is my idea. The first year, come back to renew. Let's see if you make it one year. If you come back, you don't have to renew the license. You can split. You go about your way. Year two, because that's really when the shit be going really, when it's year two is usually when the shit goes awry. Then after year two, then the next renewal is five years. So I think if you can make it past two years, you can almost make it, you could damn near make it to five years, right? When five years comes and the five years that comes up, then if you're not seeing any return on your investment, dump the stock. Five feet. I, I don't want to renew the contract. I don't want to renew the license. I'm good. Thank you. Portia needs to be down there saying, I don't want to renew the I don't want to renew the marriage license. But like I said, Portia knew everything she was getting involved with. In my heart of hearts, I believe that Portia, in her memoir, she wants to have a couple of chapters where she lived this fantasy life. She had her fantasy princess wedding this is what this is what's important to her this type of stuff is important to her and she's willing to do it by hook or by crook even if it comes down i want to have this lifestyle even if i have to marry a scammer who has been scamming since i was in pull-ups <laughs> shout out to jamie that's me y'all take care of each other protect your energy let's get down in the comments peace <laughs>